takeaways. Yeah, five takeaways if y'all ain't got any. I just got bro, you got your joints? 2-1, Mook. I like... He, he had heat, he had the energy, and the New York crowd was vibing with him. And that kind of made it a little bit different. And it was very much like they came there and said, like, nah, you can't have... We don't want to hear... We got. We want to hear new shit. We don't want to hear old bar flips. We don't want to hear nothing. And that, that was the whole energy for the night. So it was good to see... Mook come out and be Mook, but be, bring a new, a new kind of quote Kobe Bryant, same animal but different beast. Hmm. I will say he, um, I mean, just to give my um take my first takeaways with the joint. I feel like Mook definitely uh he had that crowd first round. That was probably the best Mook we've seen in in years. Um, outside of that, the second round and third round. It was cool. I think Gucci Gotti definitely, outside of his second round, just did not have that same energy we wanted, that killer Geechee, like we seen in the second round. The second round, Geechee was, he was the Geechee we wanted all cold. three, you know? But Mook in that first, it took the energy away. It, it kind of like... And he, he went yeah. first, too. So with Geechee taking that second round, it was good for him no, after that. Geechee went first, yeah, I had Geechee taking the second and, like I said, Mook taking the third. But, I mean, Mook rapping, what he said, we've seen the time, it was like he rapped about like four minutes longer. But, I mean, 11 first, minutes, first battle round. Back, first battle back in URL, I mean, first battle back in New York. What do you expect? I, you honestly, expect? I honestly don't think any rapper who's battling Mook should not. I mean, you should come with 10-minute 10 round, 10 rounds. Yeah, Verb did it. Verb had the blueprint to beat Mook. He rapped right or with him. Put it in, Link, or you put Link. it in the contract that you don't want you you got a certain time limit. Yeah. Either or because if you if you notice Mook's battles since he's battled Iron Solomon, like since that battle, it's all long-winded shit. All long-winded shit. But at, no, after that, he matched Mook. I mean, he matched Geechee damn near every time after that. It was like six, six, I think eight, eight, something like he that. He was like about a half minute over. Yeah, that's about it. But other that first round, that's the, that's about it. Well, um, shout out to Mook though, man. He was in, he was in comfortable. He was he was felt he he did a little bit of what we was liking, like got a little personal. But you just kind of like you were just being comfortable. You were having fun up there. You were just I say, it, being man. a battle rapper. You weren't trying to be super lyrical, miracle dude. You were just being a battle rapper. And you were being a New York battle rapper, brash, braggadocious, mm -hmm. in your face, lavender. You know, saying to do all over the crowd, the like right, because th this is the energy. You know what I'm saying? So I can't be mad at it. You know what I'm saying? Same way if you go to West Coast, you you wait for everybody to throw the West, throw they you know sets. You know what I'm saying? With Geechee Gotti, and I always yeah. remember Geechee Gotti versus Av coming home from jail was like Jesus Christ, and you were in LA, like. It because fuck the, fuck the Cali, fuck the COVID joints. I'm talking about when people he was looking like a Tra god uh, in that traffic, room. traffic two. Yeah, two, two, three, two or three, one of them. Traffic but two or three. he looked like a god in that room. He looked last like night, a god. immediately after the event, I watched Lux versus Geechee. It's on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Watch Lux and Geechee because I left that Mook and Geechee battle thinking, yo, Geechee, the crowd jerked. Geechee, in a way, right? And I wasn't really catching what Mook was saying, right? I did like Boom. I did like that New York bar that he had where, like, I love the shit more than you, knowing that they, you know what I'm saying, use the color. I was like, oh, oh yeah, cold. yeah. Um, I thought that was kind of cold. Geechee was doing the same shit to Lux. It was the same approach that Mook took on him that Geechee took on Lux. And when I saw that, I was like, yeah. But you got to know what that's for the inner is good for the gander. But you got to know what that that energy is in a response to because they had to strangle hold on battle rap and URL for all mm -hmm. those years. So I mean, it's not really his fault why he, you know, what I'm saying and brought that I watched energy. the battle but, again. I watched Mook and Geechee again, and I caught that first round. That first round is looking clearer and clearer and clearer for Mook. The more that I watch it, and now Mook can arguably say. He bodied the two faces of URL. <laughs> I would say body, body, two one in the no, body. no, no. The more I watch that Mook and Geechee battle, the more it looks like a body. I still, I still got Geechee with that second. 
But that second round isn't even his – like, it isn't even the best Geechee we've ever seen. But it was, the best, the, it was the best – It was the better one, the better man that round, bro. And this is coming from a nigga that was rooting for Geechee. I had Geechee yesterday, and I had to change wow, my opinion. I mean, do you got him losing the second round? The second round is a lot closer because Mook's round was just as – like, it wasn't – that's the only round that could be debated, I could say. I ain't going to sit here and cap like Mooks didn't have no, like, bars that had me scratching my head. Like, bro, what? The Ask EFB Fras, shit. Bro. EFB like, where, I wonder where Frass at. Frass was supposed to pull up to talk about but right. anyway, we, we was, we was, up. the EFB bar was fire. EFB that was scheme. a scheme. That was a scheme. That was, but that was at the end of his round, damn near, bro. That shit was cold, man. Yeah, he was cold during the first half. But, I, you know, <sighs> Gucci's round wasn't even that, it wasn't. Oh man, y'all trying to save this nigga from the bag? No, I'm not. You trying this to save that nigga from the bag? No, this is. I'm just standing on what I said when I watched it. Oh, you throwing a shot? Is that a shot? <laughs> he throwing a shot. <laughs> he throwing what a shot. shot. What sh- and who? No, you throwing a shot. Nah, nah, nah. Because I had to change my shit when I watched it again. Oh no, nah. I mean, I just thought Geechee because I still Mook wasn't like. I said, outside of the first round, Mook wasn't wild with me like that until that EFB scheme. Then he kind of just went on. That third round for Mook was, like, I get it. Like, he did a lot of pandering. Like, Kung Fu Pander is what I was calling him in the group chat. <laughs> he did a lot of that in, 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 in that home. battle. But, I, again, yes, because Geechee did it with Lux. What's good for the goose is It's not even good it's Lux, bro. You're just home. Why would you not talk to the people? Like, but Ari, yes. Ari, it's Lux and Mook. It's Lux and Mook. They mans. You you beat my mans and you did him greasy in your home turf. So now you're going to come to my home turf and I'm going to do you greasy for bro, my if mans. If that was Tay Rock on that stage, like, if it was Reed on that stage, if it was Geechee on that stage, as long as he was in New York, he was going to be that same way, bro. He you beat talking surf? about a nigga he beat surf? Dot on your like head, dot on your... Like, he hmm? beat surf in New York like that? Does this Mook beat this beat surf in, in Urban Plaza? No. Does this MOOC be, I guess, let's, let's do Lux. Does this MOOC beat Lux in, in Urban Plaza? Depends. On? What kind of energy Lux on? Because if Lux want to bring bring that type of, like, um, bring my hood out energy type shit, or are we coming here to rap type energy, <laughs> it depends. Rich, Rich, Rich Porter? Rich Porter Lux is not going to do it. Not for real. Um, yeah. Does this MOOC be... Um, what's another name? I'm not even gonna say Arsenal because Arsenal's ass last night. Was yo, shout, yo, yo, I'm gonna, I didn't Ars- know, I'm that Arsenal, I'm not shout it out. That Arsenal was Vince Carter in Atlanta's in his last Lars Phil Lars. Nah, can we talk about can we talk about this, bro? I Ars is, is too too grown to be sitting here doing this childish shit still, bro. You've been in you've been in this shit. We've literally watched you dinner like coming a, a, a grown man in this shit bro like you doing the same shit you did as a kid doing all this shit to call out mook and you still ain't get the battle and now you're going to the points where you want to you're trying to disrespect his mother you know and she's like come on bro like it's not it's, it's at this point it's literally just tasteful not even disrespectful it's like you're just yeah. it's no class in it at all he ain't gonna get a battle he ain't gonna get that battle now for what for, for what is what that's all you gonna get. All top of you being damn near ass cheeks in the battle you just had. Like nobody want to hear. Not, that we're shit, not gonna bro. talk. We're not gonna talk. It's not it's gonna nothing be a to talk. What is it to talk about? Nothing to talk about. It's nothing to talk about. Like you think I want to? I want to rap with you because you talked about my mother, my dead mother, nigga. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get you a bag. You. I'm gonna get you a bag, nigga. You crazy? Like you dumb. Like Swamp three zero, nigga. Fuck out of here. It's just a fact. And Swamp wasn't even that crazy in that battle. I'm just, I'm just stating the fact that like. Are you just too grown to be doing this? Act this kid as shit, bro. Like that was really weird. Like some weird shit. Like, but he's it's the attention. Like, he's trying to get his at the attention. end of the day. At the end of the day, you are once again one of the most viewed battles of battlers of all time. But why? So it isn't for well, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me just let me finish though. No, well, no, he he he's a battle rapper just like anybody else. Shock value. You know what I'm he Eminem. Shock value. It is what it is, bro. 
But once again, he's, he's name, his, his name his name is etched in battle rap history. You know what I'm saying? Without with or without Mook. So yeah, what I'm saying is he don't got to he don't have to do this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you want to just get a battle with Mook, bro, then just go down your resume like everybody else and explain it. It, it should it should tell you why you deserve a, a god tier nigga, one of these god tier niggas. And if I, they ain't coming towards you, then it might be a reason, bro. Because the clearly they outside right now. Like the reason yeah. why a lot of these guys don't want to battle ours is because they're from a school like yo. I would have to duff this nigga on the stage. Well, Lux battled ours. Ours got real personal with him, and it was corny real then personal too. With him. It right. was corny then too because he was saying a whole real bunch of lies. Real. Yeah, real personal with him. Real and I said that thing with that that was Funny. corny. You right. know, so it's but just it's, like, bro, you doing a lot of shit. That's just like, I'm sorry, bro. It's just, it's just really uncomfortable. It's, you can go ahead. There's a, there's a certain level of when you see disrespect artists and things like that, where it's like, yo, you're not expecting the higher, higher level people to want you on their tear because it's your type of, your type of style may work for you, but that's not what we're trying to do. Because there's more hotheads up here and competitive people up here than what you're used to down there. So you come up here being disrespectful. The competitiveness of it means the first battle you face of one of us may be slightly disrespectful. The next battle, you're going to feel I'm going to go deep and that nigga's going to wall out. Then the next nigga is going to wall out. And the next nigga, and the next nigga is going to become now this idea where as a top tier artist, you have to be disrespectful to your peers. You got to match it. How much they work. You match it. You but that. Gino, the thing is, it's not even that. People just feel they got to do that when they go against ours. And we ain't fast saying it. Like, even that's corny because now you, you forcing something that ain't even you. You're stooping. You're stooping to that level. And the only person to pull it off beautifully was Rock, I feel like. So we know Rock really, is really a high head. His style was made for that, though. His st Rock style is made for that. When you go disrespectful with ours, like what did Swan try to do? He tried to like pick him up by his shirt. Like it was, man, so, it was not, so disrespectful. Like, he said in the first round, it was, good. It, was something, it was something he said in the first round. I was just like, me and Friday, like, 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 it was some disrespectful line, but it was just like, man, like, ours like, that was a bad battle all around. All around, that was a bad battle. Yeah, and not a great follow up battle for, for, for Swamp coming off that summer madness battle. Not a great follow up. Sure. Like, I wouldn't have taken the arse battle. Just in general, like, he's one of those battlers who when people battle him, they don't leave the battle even when they win better. Correct. Like, you got the W on your resume, whoop de doo but whatever. Like, real some Orange Cassidy shit, bro. Like, whatever. Like, but off that joint, man, Um, Jazz. Jazz and Vixen. Jazz. 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 Battle of the night, like Big I said. Big like Jazz. I it on here. And you know, but you know how long I've been asking for that battle? Damn near all wow. year. Both of them delivered. Can we have it on Summer Madness? Can we have it on this card? Can we have it on that card? Despite Look the wild. crowd, both of them both of them delivered. Despite the big fucking. facts, and you talk about a crowd trying to take somebody out. They, I don't and like she that. Still, she still held her ground. Shout out Vixen. They almost got it, but she she held her oh, ground, no, man. And even to the point where it's like, shout out to Jazz because. They were like the fans were trying to like kind of waiting on Jazz to react to her bars. Like if Jazz liked it, then they probably would have been like, "Oh, okay, all right, she yeah, that's she fucked up. Right, that's Dicky into the max, bro. You know, it it happened, bro. Cause me and Fraz is watching like, cause Jazz is playing amazing. Like it's not Jazz's fault. She's playing yeah, great. No, Jazz was doing incredible, like offense too. Jazz was stone, doing stone face. You know what I'm saying? Not giving her no re stone face. You know, and. When you know, say Vixen going off, going off, going off. First round was immaculate. Best first round, of, in both, my opinion, back sides. and forth. Yes. Best first round of the night. Um, after that, it was just like the crowd. After Jazz second, it kept the it kept the bar high, and yeah. Vixen kind of stayed in her pocket. It kind of stayed in her pocket. She like, mm -hmm, like. They just seemed like what, what I was saying. What happened once again, was oh, Jazz. Oh, my God. Okay, because Arsenal, I would say Arsenal had mad many pockets, right? And this is why I keep saying Arsenal pockets. Air pockets? He had mad pockets on. He had mad pockets on his pants. And he didn't go into not oh. one of those pockets in his battle. But Jazz, 
What that ugly oh, she ass was in all of those. Mm-hmm. She was in all of those pockets like a prison, like a, like she was in prison. Like, like let me just get in that one, that one, that one, because she Ooh. had schemes. Ooh. She had she had like bars, jokes, like punch. She went punch and she went punch for punch with um Vixen also, like. She showed levels like, yo, yeah. it's a reason why y'all, I'm y'all in game. And she even felt that she said for her to feel that Vixen was like, she was Vixen's in game. She thought Vixen was going to be a little bit more lethal. And yeah. she was like, kind of like, she, like she, that's why she wrote the way she wrote. And I, I, I think gotta give you guys her credit, man. She might need to like, yo, get your couple, like, get the coffee bag, the, the, the new coming joints that's coming up in flame. But Ignoring the choke, you don't want her to chill. Oh, she said she wanted about on December. She proved her point, bro. She is Mount Rushmore. Why not, bro? Me. Why not? All the years people been saying she been battling year, 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 year. Yo, she said, No, nah, I'm outside. It, like, yo, like, let's see. She is such a good angler, dog. Like, we're gonna have to start talking about jazz as far as where does she rank uh, um, amongst the best anglers in battle rap. Because with Gattas and the shit, bro, that second round where she was breaking down Vixen's style, and this is to your point about um, Vixen's second round where they wouldn't react, she broke down Vixen's style to the T. To the T. No one's ever done that. And then you can see the effect immediately right after that. The crowd was like, nah, we just saw that. Old girl did that too. So it, it's it had an effect. It had an effect. And I said she kind of stayed in like well, I said like the, the baby thing, where it's like you just stayed in your pocket of comfortable flow, what got you to the dance type shit, uh, and people definitely, seen definitely. something with a little bit more pizzazz, a little bit more versatility, and they're like, I'd rather cheer for that. This is just this is this. She was putting on a show, like and then I'm gonna take nothing away from Vixen. Vixen is wildly entertaining. The the like she knows how to control that stage, but it was just the same. It was like an action scene. It was like. Yo, it's a one shooting scene, a little bit of dialogue. Oh, dang, another shooting scene. Oh, no, now they get in the cop chase. It's, it's nothing but action scene. You know what I'm saying? the hollow toe no place? Pace. Set up punchlines. Set up punchlines. How you yeah, predict it's that? No, it was no great pacing. <laughs> and it's no great pacing. Like, to put it in like that sense, like, not a lot of great pacing within between her um joints. But, um yeah, Jazz took that joint. i say, I mean, it could be 2 1 3 0. Oh. Like, the first round is, is really close. Gentlemen's. Gentlemen's. You can say that. You can say that. Um, but yeah, man, I, I, I'm ready to start seeing Jazz go against the fellas, man. Nah, that was a I'm thing. ready. He did. he did and won. Yeah, she yeah. got. That's what I'm saying. Let's. I want to see more. Already. Yeah, she got. She got. She got Geechee, But I want to see her go and against Steams. somebody. I, I forgot about the Steams battle. I, I didn't even see that to be honest. But um, I want to see her against like. Right. I want to see where the clips is. I want to see her going against like the calicos, like because all right, you you're you're. you're you already seen you. We're gonna talk about that. You, we already seen that like she's, she's the top. Of, you like go against the who? top tier. I believe so. She's the she's already at the top to. tier level of the women. No, so I'm you saying, might as well just let her go against like. Does she get lux? Does she get a move battle? Oh, but oh, that's what that's what we were talking about. Nah, that's, that's what I was talking about with Fries. Like, this is what we were talking about with Fries. It's like now she has to go through this ringer. Like you played Mortal Kombat one, but now was all women. Now you got to play Mortal Kombat two. You going through? You got to go through another tower now. She's the time. I'll be real. I feel that's kind of um, disingenuous to her uh, accomplishments, where it's like, I've been everyone in the best in my class. I should right. be able to say, hey, I want to fight. I want to I want to pick my opponent out of all of you because I should be able, like, say she says, I want to. No, I'm not saying she got to go through, like, NXT. Like, she ain't got to go to NXT. Or right. She said, like I want that. rock. You know what I'm saying? She yeah, yeah, I want, yeah. Rock. That's what I said. That's what I said. The right, clips, the rock, calicos. Rock. Like, out, you out, gotta get them names. out of all the niggas, I say Rock is one of the few who will say, nah, You know I'm, who I would like I'll to see her go against? I'll give you, know you know four names. For her? Okay, go ahead. You, you might, well, my, my name might be one of the four because I okay, think. Let me see. Let me see. Easy. That wasn't one, but I do like that one. I, 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 I my, four, my four, my four, I like Easy too much. I like Easy too much. Easy might say, my four were a classic for the face off, though. My four were styles. That gave me clips. Calico, DNA, one. and K Shine. The Calico one is. is, is Matter of fact, take is, away, take away Calico. Take away. I don't know why I keep saying Calico. Clips is Clips, DNA, K Shine, and the last one. Who the fuck was it? Um, fuck, fuck, fuck. 
Because it used to be verb, but I don't want to see that no more. No, yeah, she'll get verb out of here. And she'll get verb the fuck out of here. Oh no, nah, um, give, give me clips. Give me clips, DNA. Give me clips, DNA, K Shine. She gotta Maybe see your red. Maybe that's that was my fourth. Thank you. you. That was my fourth. Red. Thank you. I knew you was gonna because that's what I thought you was gonna say instead of easy. They just need to they need to put old red in the kings and queens already. I thought old red was gonna be on smack volume 10. I hope I it's still time. I hope he but is. Yo, but hold on, before we get into get on to that, shout out Kid Slate. As a person oh, yeah. I continually told you, I've Hartford, been missing stand every up. time he's been performing since the goddamn UM he was on. I missed everything. It wasn't on purpose. I swear it just been some weird fucking coincidence. I'll be I think he got barred tonight. Twice. Yo, he had one of the performances of the night. Like, amazing performance from beginning to end. Like, bro, it That's was... six feet deep shit? Gino B. Like, bro, bro. It, was, it was amazing. It was amazing to see, man. See. Like, for me to be in the first... All right, Gino, bro. Thank you. You already know. Pull up next time, bro. Love is love. All right, bro. Tracy Morgan, be easy. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Tracy Morgan. Any from Brooklyn? Jesus Christ. You are crazy. But nah, dog. Like I said, man. Kiss late. Oh, definitely man. made a fan out of me. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm on radar. I'm on the radar, bro. Definitely. Like, definitely. not for sure, man. Like to the point I might go back and see what else the joints I missed. For real, for real. I know he was in the principal. Oh, uh, he was, or was he just straight yeah. to one? He was in Crucible. <laughs> yeah, man, I missed all of that, bro. I missed all of that. So shout out to Fraz, man. Fraz was lit. Fraz was lit. That's Hartford, man. Wait, and then Springfield. Oh, oh that's so, what, as he said. It, it's funny because me and Fraz were. I mean, we represented each one of the. Yo, the twenty the, minutes down the road line was cold. Yo, I thought that shit was funny. Incredible. Twenty minutes. Slate, minutes Slate is late. nasty, man. And shout out to um Stumbles, he did good, you know what I'm saying? But you know, he lived he, up to his name. his name. Yeah, and me and Fry said you might as well just make that the gimmick. <laughs> you might as well be just be the stuttering rapper at this point, bro. Yeah, I mean it worked. Blind Fury is a blind rapper. But we don't we don't discredit we don't discredit, you know what I'm saying, disabilities and that like that, bro. If you yeah, got a DNA, like you know what I'm saying, we don't come on, relax. I take no DNA slander up here. <laughs> no more, no more DNA slander. He's no DNA slander. I need surf. I mean, surf. What? Surf. He like was surf, amazing. Though. I like Sue Sharp. Nah, bro, he was amazing, bro. I think I look at him like how, like you know, how William Regal be trying to break down the moves and such during the like, like that's why I feel like he, like he's. I told you, he's like not no, not even that. Remember how um Daniel Bryant, like Daniel Bryant, that's what they that's what him and um Jay Black. Oh, and CW Michael, Daniel Bryan. Yes, Daniel Bryan and Michael Cole. We're just like, yo, they just calling the shit out of this, bro. Like CW. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, them niggas. New new Beth Phoenix. The way Damn. she was getting hit with that chair, shit. Man. She got a concerto Mook for the short. Yo, Mook said she wish she get AIDS, bro. Like, yo, you gotta relax. Bro. No, he told her to suck my dick and all. Like, th where's the tension coming from, Mookie? Is that, if he really said that was all over because of that read battle bet, like, you gotta relax. Yeah, suck my dick a little much. Yeah, it's definitely a like, light skin nigga saying that. In real talk, though, shout out to I, Nunu, man, because she take a lot of. No, for real though, like dead ass, like. Like Nuno takes so many shots, bro. She like on, on cool. like on that stage, bro, where it's just like it's not even like and she still have she still is Handles professional it like at the end of the day. And those are like, like still professional. So I gotta give her, her credit for that, man. Like, real talk. Um, we talked about Kid Slade, man. We talked about Jazz, we talked about uh Swamp and Ars, we talked about Mook and um and G and Geechee. announcements. Anything? Yeah. So we got Kid Chaos versus DNA Smack love Volume it. Ten. Love it, I love it, love it. This is this is the space where DNA gets busy. This is the space where Kid, Ka Kid Chaos get busy. But I feel like this reminds me a lot of DNA versus B Dot, and I wonder if the outcome is going to be the same. I but then again, I don't think B Dot. I mean, I don't think Kid Chaos has that. Is was is a way to see it where he has that extra gear he gets into where it's just like. Yo, is this nigga even on earth right now? Setting is going to play a part. 
I feel like setting is gonna play a part in this. Event. I miss B dot. I miss B dot at battle rap so much, bro. I hope he comes back, man. Give me B dot O red. Why not? Why not? B dot no red. I'll pay for that. B dot easy. <sighs> nah, that's too much of a clash. So you, you might get some great writing out of that shit. Because then B dot gonna try to break easy down and. Uh, he could take that hurricane do angle and oh god but now back to the joint like dna kid chaos amazing battle you know what i'm saying you got the face off that they had during the event was mm -hmm. was cold too i like how they showed the the uh announcements through the face offs like killing two birds in one stone yeah they're getting smart about that i like that kill like do both like i like that that's for promo so you get hyped up by watching the face off. You only got to see the whole joint. Um, we also got um, Rum Nitty versus Fonz. As I, um, as I stated, this battle it's when you ask for you ask your mom for Av versus Rum Nitty, and she says we got Av versus Rum Nitty at home, and it's it's Rum Nitty versus Fonz. This is instead of the McDonald's burgers, is the big pack. Of the red box frozen burgers at the crib. Just checkers. <laughs> Just checkers. Oh, no. I'm gonna go on a limb here. This ain't that Oreo. This that cookie sandwich. I'm gonna go on a limb here. Oh my god! <laughs> Not that cookie sandwich. Vanilla, vanilla wafer cookie sandwich. <laughs> oh shit! I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a limb and say this will be also meal last battle. One of the best battles of the year. If both of these niggas come with it, Nitty already yeah, has. Hopefully, one. hopefully, Fonz come with it. I ain't worried about Nitty, man. That's the thing. It's Fonz I'm worried about. Nitty already has a battle of the year contender with A Ward. This and could be his second. He is God tier on Smack Value. Yep. So it's like this is his, his expectations is high for reasons. Well, Your Fonz is, Fonz is higher. Well, his expectations have to be high because we want him. You know what I'm saying? But it, you've been calling him out. high of his history. You know what I'm saying? Like his history is the reason why his expectations is high. Nitty loses. That's really one of the best battles on this on this series. M maybe oh, yeah. the best battle. He has a couple of those in the series. He has the the the. He called out conceded for 2023. He needs to show. He needs to show it. He needs to show it. Show what? All the battle dudes need to get booked. But I don't want to battle this nigga, man. Unless they giving this nigga the, unless they giving this nigga like, if Khan pulls up to URL, it'll be like seeing Shawn Michaels at at Crown Jewel. Oh my god! Like I the thought you said, time, you retired. How much they? The last you? time we seen Nitty though was in a tournament, and we've said it. We said it on here. He's suffering from what is it? Um, fatigue. He's suffering from fatigue. Yeah. But, but it, depends, it depends on where he's at, though, for real, for real. I forgot the ward battle was right after that, and he yeah, that's, it depends really, on where he's at. Like, really in the ward battle, and I think he wants to prove a point with with him, like yo, you trying to come from my punch crowd, like all right, I'm gonna have to show you who the better puncher. So he's gonna yeah. like go to that well where, and he knows Fonz is a threat. Still, like we know Fonz can get busy, so I'm a if I'm Nitty, I'm preparing for that Fonz that I seen in the tournaments and. All of if that. If we shit. get, oh, if we get the Fonz from the Castro battle, oh my god, mm -mm -mm. Well, it could be crazy. It could be crazy, man. Um, what was the third battle? Uh, Calico and Clips. Oh yeah, a battle that I've been waiting for for since what about two thousand six, six years, 15, sixteen. Yeah, it's about six years in the making, man. Calico called Clips out. And, and this is beyond the calico back then. He was like, he wanted to take clips head off, bro. He was like, all that funny shit out because he just he just wanted to, just to dub all that funny shit. And you know, what I'm saying, you know, clips was still going on that arguably undefeated shit, all of that shit stuff, bro. He wanted to dead all of that shit, you know, the whole your daddy shit, you with the whole T Rex. He probably was going to expound on that, like, you know, he probably was he probably had all of that in the tuck in 2000. I think Cal Cal could take this shit. I think Clips might take this. In a smack volume setting, I think Clips might take this. I think we underestimate Cal, especially mm -hmm. this Cal. Go. Well, no. I mean, I think we underestimate Not on this platform. Against, against writers. 
against writers. That's the thing, though. I look at Cal as a, as a great writer, though. I don't really do. I don't really look at him as like, a writer. But I think he's a great. I, I mean, he's a great rapper in general, in my opinion. So I mean, I would have to like appreciate his writing some way somehow. Never know. Might That's be good. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is good. It is. I wanted to get you one. I was like, he probably don't like stuff like this. I'm going to do this like this. That's good. Sound like, are we sounding like uh, B Rab? <laughs> Malibu was wanted. it. Well, that's good. You pretty. You real pretty. <laughs> but nah, man. Um, like I said, this uh this joint this event was really great though, man. They're back in New York. The crowd itself was New York at its finest, man. And it was it was URL in New York at its finest. Everybody was lit. Everybody was ready to, you know what I'm saying, be on niggas' asses as soon as they start a mumble, a stutter. You know what I'm saying? They was on their ass, bro. Or rather it, it wasn't booing, or it was just silent, or they're talking through their rounds. Like New York. URL in New York was URL in New York. Because I don't want to say that was just a New York crowd. That was just URL in New York. I take back my statement from last night. Give me another event in New York. Yeah, you was bugging, bro. Because, like, yo, the, the crowd, the move, like, I was a different person. It was yesterday. lit, bro. That shit was lit, nah. my nigga. That was a different person last night. My bad. But quick five takeaways. Um... To wrap this joint up, man, Mook definitely uh, proved the point for sure. Like I said, Tay Rock, Gigi Gotti, he has he has the bragging rights. Yeah. Um, like I said, Kid Slade made me a fan. That's my second one for sure. Um, third, um, I'm pissed that we're we're probably never gonna get Jack Boy versus K Shine because K Shine said he's not mm-hmm. rebooking the battle. Yeah, he said it's a good um, and I, I, I'm really wondering what the hell happened with that shit. Uh, I guess I think Jack Boy had a medical uh, situation. Just so, yeah. So hopefully, you know, what I'm everything is all right with that though, man. It's, it sucks that we're never gonna get that battle because a lot of the battles we want for Jack Boy, like this battle or the Briz battle, I just feel like we're never gonna get, bro. Whatever. It's it, it sucks for him. It, it really sucks for him because those are game changing battles for him. Consequence of um, Yeah, man. Um, that's my fourth and my fifth one would be um, yo, man. I, I want to see Jazz start mixing it up with the ma- the male top tiers. Yeah, like I said the, the like, Tay Rocks. Like I said the the the, the, the uh, we seen them with the Geechees. Well, I want to see them with like I said the the clips, the, the goods. The DNAs, you know what I'm saying? Or even, even the new dudes coming up, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Like, I just want to see you mix it up with more dudes, you know what I'm saying? I think that, like, will take it to another level, you know what I'm saying, on that resume where it's, like, it's undeniable. Because who can say I dominated in both, you know what I'm saying, in both divisions? Yeah, not a lot. Not a lot of people can say that. Really, no one can. 40. 40. I think 40. But she don't got that. I'm just saying, like, if if that's correct, because she already got the battles, but it's not as if Jazz continues the way she is right now against these fellas, bro. It can get scary for a couple dudes. It can, it can indeed. Um, that's your five. Yeah. Uh, my first one. Uh, put respect on Mook name. Um, that's my first one. We're going to kill the narrative that Mook can't rock a big stage, and we're going to kill that. Oh, it's in New York. Well, yeah, duh. That's where he's from. Sorry, we got to kill that narrative. Uh, number two, I want Kid Slade to get more top tier plates. Let's give him let's get that going. Let's get, let's that, get that going. Let's give him the T tops. Let's give him the easy. Already called him out. Easy called easy, him out easy. today already. He said he'll start that 2023. Let, let's let's get let's get him some proven names now. Yeah. Um, my third one, Jazz is Mount Rushmore. Solidified, solidified. At least, at least, especially for the women, man. It's like you, you, it's yeah, it's it's crazy. The work, the run she's on is is, is yep. amazing. And you can debate for the men. You can debate overall too, because what she's doing in this sport for the women 
It, it kind of transcends. Yes, yeah, um, it, it it really does. Um, my fourth one. Up there. Arsenal needs to take a long break. Long Arsenal want to be good when he want to be good, bro. Like that bring nigga. back U Dub or something. I don't know, man. He was winning in his league, like. He was winning his league, so he ran into Lux. So, um, and Rex too. Right. <laughs> um, and then my fifth one, my last one. Um, need more URL URL events, and not even New York, just the East Coast. Period. Like Philly. Uh, bring one to Massachusetts, man. We ain't gonna bite. 